Good morning, Manual High School. I'm Lily Nelson. And I'm Shay Dobson. Thank you for tuning in to Manual AM. The, most, the first manual science review seminar will be today from 2.30 to 3.30 in Mr. Bob's room. FCA will be having an ice cream social after school today in the courtyard. All are welcome to attend. Girls interested in playing basketball this year need to see Coach Sparks in room 312. Conditioning will begin Tuesday, September 1st. All paperwork must be complete before you can participate. The first Asian Students in America meeting will be on Tuesday, September 1st, after school in the senior cafeteria. There will be an organizational meeting of the Ballroom Dance Club today at 2.30 in room 4 of the Y-Pass Annex basement. Best Buddies is a club that fosters friendships between students with and without intellectual and developmental disabilities. An informational meeting will be held on Wednesday, September 2nd, in Ms. Robinson's room 200, from 2.30 to 3.15. The Latin American and Hispanic Student Organization will have its first meeting on Friday, September 4th. All are welcome to attend. Bowling sign-ups will be in the courtyard immediately after school today. No bowling experience is required. The manual mock trial team will hold an information session for new and returning members today in room 137 at 2.30. If you've been wanting to know more about the new teachers, Kristen Smith and Olivia Loy will introduce you to Ms. McLean. In the first edition of Manual's New Teachers, we're getting to know Ms. McLean. For the 2015-2016 school year, Manual has welcomed eight new staff members. Ms. McLean is the new mathematics teacher in room 122. She teaches honors and advanced geometry for freshmen and sophomores. Ms. McLean has been pleasantly surprised with how open her students are to having her as a new teacher. I'm just so excited because that, that excites me as a teacher because then it means, oh wow, I can really go a lot of places with you guys in math. Ms. McLean has been teaching for four and a half years as a math teacher. She taught middle school in Philadelphia until she moved back to Louisville. She has taught at the Academy at Shawnee, more, and now she's here at Manual. Just every day when I come in with a lesson, I'm just sort of excited to see how it goes and what the, what the year holds for me as a teacher and for you guys as students. From Manual AM, this is Kristen Smith. You may have noticed that the towers we constructed over the summer. Megan Sutton and Nico Pagney have the story. On July 14, 2014, one of the four towers that stood atop Manual was struck by lightning during a thunderstorm and fell through the roof, dealing heavy exterior damage and interior damage. The, the limestone that fell, we were very fortunate. Our, our steel girders up there caught it or the weight of it would have gone right through to the first floor. Uh, but we were fortunate in that the roof held, even though it was damaged, and it, it kept it from protruding out and going down further. Uh, we were told that if they had not caught it, if it had not caught it at a certain time, uh, that the damage would have been even much more extensive. You know, we, we lost two classrooms for half a year last year just based on the water damage and also to just the physical damage of the limestone coming through the ceiling. Starting only two days after the 2014-2015 school year, the construction lasted four weeks, with constant delays. The reconstruction project was considered too big of a risk to undergo during school hours, allowing minimal work time after school. Not to interrupt the school year, we deferred the installation of it, the replacement of it, until the summer. So that was part of the delay. Uh, there was definitely a safety threat because of the weight of the limestone coming through the, through the roof. Uh, even during the summer when we did finally install it, we had to secure the building and not have anyone around because of the weight of it. Finally, after four full weeks of construction, the tower was finally replaced during the first week of July and now continues to stand as a monumental sign of old Louisville history since 1933. It's, it's great to just preserve you know, a piece of history there. You know, uh, Manual High School is one of the last if not the last uh, bastion of, of historical uh, history with our historical legacy of this area. And it's important to have it put back in the right, the right fashion. This has been Nico Pagni from Manual AM. Those are all of your announcements for today. Thanks for watching and, and have, have a great, great weekend, weekend Manual High School. School.